Welcome back to How It's Made. Later, we look at cotton swabs, perfect for cleaning delicate places. But first, you don't have to be a do-it-yourselfer to own a few basic hand tools. Even the amateurs amongst us are likely to possess a hammer, a screwdriver, even a pair of pliers. And if not in a toolbox, then at least crammed into a messy drawer somewhere. Here's a look at how some hand tools are made. Every screwdriver and chisel needs a handle. So this factory makes handles from acetate, a synthetic resin. These two metre long acetate bars arrive here ready made. Workers load the bars onto a machine that feeds them into a lathe. As the lathe spins, an automated knife cuts one handle after the other, rounding off the edge for the top. Then it sculpts the other end. A drill makes the hole into which they'll later insert the blade. Now the handles travel to their next stop, the dipping machine. Acetate becomes dull and opaque when it's cut, so they're dipped in acetone, a chemical solvent. This brings back their translucent shine and removes any acetate shavings. Here's what the handles look like before the acetone bath. And here's what they look like after. The handles air dry on their way to the next stop on the production line, printing. This hot stamp printer works in conjunction with an ink ribbon. It applies 25 kilograms of pressure with 70 degrees Celsius heat, engraving the product code and brand name, whilst transferring the ink from the ribbon into the engraved lettering. The handles are finished and it's finally time to insert the blades. In this case, crosshead screwdriver blades. The blades are made of carbon steel. An automated machine forces them into the handle with 40 kilograms of pressure. Workers insert chisel blades manually in order to protect their sharp edge. At the same time, they top the handle with a steel cap to give the chisel extra striking power. Another common hand tool is the T-square. Two strips of aluminium are cut, the first 1.4 metres long, the second 56 centimetres long. Markings are applied using silk screening. The bending machine folds over the top edge of the piece that will form the horizontal part of the T. This will allow the tool to hook onto the edge of a plasterboard panel. Finally, the two pieces are riveted together. The T square is now finished. Factories can alter the size of the tools they produce to meet their clients' specifications. Standard screwdrivers have handles 9 to 11 centimeters long, with blades 4 to 20 centimeters in length. Some screwdrivers, on the other hand, have extra long blades, while stubby screwdrivers have short handles for getting into tight places. Then there are pocket screwdrivers and precision screwdrivers for jewellers and electronic technicians. All of which proves there's a tool that's the right size for every job.